The weather is overcast at Los Angeles airport when Madame Nu, drawn and bitter, takes leave of the United States with her 18-year-old daughter. They are en route to Rome, where the former Vietnamese first lady will have her first reunion with her three youngest children since the revolt that cost her husband his life. Madame Nu has been quoted as saying she may return here in about a month. Meanwhile in Saigon, the new revolutionary South Vietnam regime announces it will soon ban Madame Nu's women's solidarity movement and all other vestiges of the former regime. The dominant figures in post-revolt Vietnam are General Yuong Van Min and Nguyen Ngoc To, premier in the provisional government. But the real power is held by Big Min, nicknamed for the 200-pound general who led the coup, and his revolutionary council of generals. Buddhist leaders have come out of jail and out of hiding, and thousands pray at pagodas which last August witnessed a government crackdown. The anti-Buddhist repressions at times threatened to overshadow the war against the communist guerrillas. And so today, with calm restored, more vigorous military action is the goal, as the U.S. prepares to review its aid and to help stabilize the situation.